there, I've got it all bound up. I did it with cascamite and I used a bit on the old levers just under, well over the first layer of binding to help provide some pressure along the join. I've got the strapping off and started cleaning up the patch. I thought I'd video it now before it's completely cleared up because hopefully when it's finished you won't even be able to see it hardly. And there, that's the patch. I've sanded in and blended in nicely. That's where it ends, that curved line there. That's this end. You can see the glue line there. That's its edge on, so you can see it's a nice gentle curve. Well, that's really frustrating. I was going to test the bow. I just thought I'd give it a gentle flex to warm it up a bit because it's rather cold out here. And it went bang, but it went bang at the lever. The lever just seems to have split out, not along the glue line. So I just don't know what that was about. I can only think there was a, a weak point in that timber. Or there was another fault on the back, but my patch is uh, stood up perfectly. Mind you, would it have stood up at the draw weight that I was going to take it to? I suppose I could test it by tying two new knocks here and stressing it just to see how well it survives. Uh, it's a little bit pointless, but I could do just for the hell of it. Um, yeah, very frustrating, so I'd, I'd done a nice job on that patch. And it would have been interesting, I wanted to basically see, was I right, or were the people who said it was going to explode right? As it happens, neither of us are right, it's, um, it's failed somewhere completely different. And not even in the same area, it's failed. Just there, that's that's where the cracks propagated, about a third of the way down that lever. Where it should have been stiff, but um, I can only assume that this new lever I made had a, had a weak point in it. That's a nice new scratchy post, man. Oh, I like that. Oh, I've got some sniffy you as well. Oh, sniff, sniff, sniff. Bye-bye, everybody.